Hi, I'm Miranda. Welcome to the Gospel Explosions Word Ministry of Sardis, Georgia. Our location is 811 Sap Street. Our pastor is the Honorable Bishop Willie Jones Jr. Our service time as it follows Tuesday Bible study at 7.30, Sunday 10 a.m. prayer, 10.15 Sunday school, 11 a.m. morning worship. You are cordially invited to worship with us during our services. Thank you from yours truly, Miranda Pierce of the Gospel of Explosion Word Ministry.
Blessings in that powerful name of Jesus. Today we're going to be talking from the book of 2 King, the 7th chapter, and only the 3rd verse. That's the book of 2 Kings, the 7th chapter, and only the 3rd verse. Our topic today will be the desire to live. The desire to live. Here in the scriptures today... We're going to talk about four leopards who had the desire to live. And like never before, no matter what we come up against, what challenge we face, what circumstance or situation, we must keep that desire to live. The Bible said greater is he that is within us than anything that we can battle are endure. Here we have four leopards, and they were put out of the city. Because back then, when you had the disease called leprosy, you was put out of the city and scheduled to die. Because leprosy was a bad disease. So glory to God, amen, life sometimes bring us leprosy things and situations and circumstances and the result is death but the desire to live is what kept the four leopards alive the bible said the wages of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life they had a desire to live see you got to have a desire to live when 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 god it's telling us that sin infect us. It, it, it's sort of like leprosy. It's a death sentence. But when you have a desire to live, you will do the things necessary to live. The leper said, why should we sit here and die? Either or, if we go in the city, we're going to die. If we sit out here, we're going to die. But if we get up and try to live, I believe, See, their faith took them in another direction. When you see yourself dying in a circumstance or a situation, you need to get up and move. Begin to move to explore what God has for you. Glory to God. And the lepers had the faith that they could move in another area and live. They had a desire to live. They had a desperate desire to to live. And see, when we're talking about live, we're talking about living the way God would have us to live. Meaning being balanced out. Glory to God. Meaning live in this world, but live according to God's word. So many times people are living, but not according to God's word. And God done told us at the end, if we're not living according to what his word said live, the wages of our sin will be death. But he got a gift. If you can live this life the way his word said live, follow the blueprint. It's a gift of eternal life. Not everybody going to get 
eternal life. Everybody die now. They put them in heaven. Oh, they're going to heaven. But the Bible says different. The Bible said no one is caught up until that time when Jesus comes. And he said, then the dead in Christ going to rise. So ain't nobody gone yet. No matter how many funerals you see, no matter how many castings you see lay across the floor, nobody is gone anyway yet. Don't let nobody fool you. See, it's a mighty poor preacher to paint a picture of something that is false. The Bible told us in the book of Thessalonians, he said, be not ignorant concerning those that are asleep. Because if they live their life according to God's word, when he come back, he's going to bring them with him. So this is what we're doing, glory to God. When we have the opportunity to preach, we are painting a different picture than what God word. Everybody going to heaven. Oh, they this, no, 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 no. Everybody ain't going to the prepared place. Because everybody's not going to live the way God should live. See, it's time to preach the truth. It's time to preach the buck naked truth. It's time out for the sugar coated, watered down gospel. We must tell people the truth. You must fall out with your wicked ways. You must fall out with sin. You must give God your soul and your heart. Let him be the captain of your life. Because if you work for anything else other than eternal life, hell going to be your home. But the four lepers is, is teaching us. It's teaching us don't sit somewhere and die. You got a choice. Don't die to damnation, but die to eternal life. Glory to God. So many times, glory to God, we won't heed God's word. We will not listen. We feel like we know it all. We feel like we got it together. We feel like nobody can tell us anything. It's all about what we think and what we want to do. But I'm here to tell you, we got to get it together. Jesus is coming. And the Bible says he's coming in a blinking of an eye. Every eye going to see him, but every eye ain't going to go with him. See, this is the key, glory to God. See, we love them preachers, glory to God, just tell us what we want to hear. That's called itching ears. But when we get those preachers that tell us the buck naked truth and cry loud and spare not, we look at them like they too mean. Well, you know, I, I don't want to go there. See, we want to go some way where our uh, mind can be swayed with a hot iron. We don't want gospel truth. I'm here to tell you, glory to God, ain't no way that you can live all kind of way and meet the prepared king. He's already prepared. You got to be prepared. When he come, he's telling you the same way he went up is the same way he's coming back. And you got to have something to meet him. Glory to God. And the only thing that's going to meet him is having a spirit like him. And if you don't have that spirit, you're not going to meet him. So we really need to really think about what I am teaching. This is not a fairy tale. This is not, glory to God, a, a fly-by little fiction story. Jesus is coming. So many times, glory to God, we can't believe these type things, people rising up in the air, people coming back from the air, whatever the word of God is saying, sometimes we feel like it's fiction. But I'm here to tell you there's something on the other side. The desire to live. Not only the desire to live on this earth, but the desire to live to be the men and women of God that God has ordained us to be. So many times, glory to God, we follow error instead of truth. But here the four lepers had a decision to make. They could either die outside of the city or they could make a decision to go forward. Sometimes we stay in one spot and we die. We already know ain't no breakthroughs there. We already know, glory to God, ain't nothing uh, prosperous there. But we stay there and we try to work with it and we try to get it together when we're supposed to be moving. When opportunity presents itself, we got to have a will to move. Glory to God. And these lepers had a desperate will to live. They was not living where they was. They was hungry. Glory to God. They was just one no breakthroughs in sight. But they chose to live. 
Those of you, glory to God, God give us eyes to see. He give us a brain to think. When things around you is not productive, because God was say he's a God of plenty. He's not a God of slimness. Now, I grant you, glory to God, sometimes you would go through a little something, amen, glory to God, maybe about a year uh, or so on, but it's not going to take you five years to go through this situation. That season is up. You got to know your season. Even the earth know her season. The earth go ahead on when she sees spring coming and she moves forward to get in spring, but if she sits still, we'll be in bad shape. If the world just stay in summer, we would be in bad shape. Everything would burn up because we just so accustomed to summer. But the earth move and orbit around the sun. The sun is the only thing that stands still. And Jesus is like the natural sun. He stay still. He is the son of God that stays still and we orbit around him. And we go from season to season to season. But we got to learn how to move in our season. It's not that God isn't sending prosperity away or breakthrough. Glory to God or doing anything. It's just you're not willing to move. You feel like you're going to fix a circumstance that's already over and done with. But today we need to learn from the four leopards. We need to learn don't sit a place and die. You got to have enough willpower to get up and move. How many know the Bible said once we receive the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost come with power and that of fire. We got the will and the motivation to move. Some of us have lost our motivation. Why? Because glory to God, we want to stay in one position. You can't stay in one position and be prosperous. You got to learn to move with the season. Oh, glory to God. Move when it's time to move. If a place or an area isn't working for you, move. Keep moving until you find that productive place. See, God is a God is never a God that will tell us a lie. Neither will he ever be a God that he will repent for anything that he say. But we got to know our season. The fig tree did not know her season. And the Bible said Jesus went there. He already knew that the fig tree didn't know its season. But he went there. And he did not find no fruits. But he yet saw the fig tree blooming. And he told the fig tree, curse. You will never bloom again. Because why? It was all crossed up. It was all confused. See, you cannot be prosperous if you're confused. You got to know when to move. You got to know when no birds is coming on your tree. Blessings are flowing 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day. The Bible said, praise the Lord. And then shall the earth give forth her increase. The earth is loaded down with blessings. This is what Psalm 68 says. It's loaded down with benefits and blessings every day. But we miss them because we are not in the right position. We're sitting in one place and we're withering up. It's like Zachariah. Zachariah was a short man. He was a little midget. And everybody was getting their breakthrough. And Zacchaeus, he needed a breakthrough. My God, as Zacchaeus went ahead of the crowd and climbed in the sycamore tree. And Jesus already knew he was in the sycamore tree. He just told Zacchaeus, come down. I'm going to abide with you because why? He saw the, persist the persistent of Zacchaeus. When you are persistent, things will come. Oh, glory to God. God knew when he looked up, he saw the persistent. He didn't see the man. He saw a diligent man that wasn't going to let his season pass him. He wasn't going to sit back because he was short and glory to God, not tall as the others, make him miss his breakthrough. He got up, my God, and he moved forward. Today I have taught you from the book of 2 Kings, the 7th chapter, and only the 3rd verse. The desire to live. Do you have a desire to live? If you are withering up, you need to move. If you really have a desire to live. I thank you, praise God, amen, for the rich word of God. And that 
of boldness and power that the Lord has sent it in. The Bible said that the word of God will never return void. It will go and accomplish that which it is sent out to do. Amen. Glory to God. Now, glory to God, by way of announcement, we like to announce every Tuesday night at the hour of 730 p.m. Gospel Explosion have evangelistic hour. If you're not busy at your local church and you're not Amen. Praise you, Lord, at a church. Come on down to 811 Sap Street in the city of Sardis, Georgia, and worship with Gospel Explosion Word Ministry. That is every Tuesday at the hour of 730 p.m., 811 Sap Street, Gospel Explosion Word Ministries in the city of Sardis, Georgia. Also, every Sunday, 10 o'clock for prayer, 1015 Sunday school, 11 o'clock morning worship at 811 Sap Street in the city of Sardis, Georgia at Gospel Explosion Word Ministry. Have a blessed and a productive day. God bless you now.
I know he is. <laughs> you ought to just think about it sometime. He's worthy. your mind go back to just how good God meant to you. So Can I get a witness here? Sometimes when I could see my way He made a way to me and He's so worthy I tell Him sometimes 